In this lesson, I'll show you how to find dy by dx if y is equal to e to the power of the square root of x. Now we can actually rewrite this as e to the power of x to the power of a half. And now we can actually apply the chain rule. And I'll start by saying let u equal x to the power of a half. So du by dx, well that's going to be equal to a half x to the power of a negative half. So y is now equal to e to the power u. So by substituting this in u for this root x, we get that y is equal to e to the power of u. And dy by du, well, that will just be e to the u. Now what we're looking for is dy by dx. So dy by dx, using the chain rule, would be dy by du multiplied by du by dx. So that is equal to, well, dy by du, that is e to the power of u, multiplied by du by dx, and du by dx is this term here. So we've got a half x to the negative a half. Now e to the power of u, well u is x to the power of a half, which is root x. So that is e to the square root of x. Then we've got this half. Now x to the negative a half, well that can be written as 1 over root x. So what we have here is 1 over 2 root x. Now let's rationalize this denominator and we do that by multiplying by root x over root x. Now I can do that because that's just the equivalent of 1. Now by doing that we get e to the root x times root x and that is all over we've got the 2 there and root x times root x that is just x and there is our final answer now if you found this lesson useful please give me a thumbs up and in the comments below let me know what videos you'd like to see from me in the future